Welcome to Space News from the Electric Universe, brought to you by the Thunderbolts Project at thunderbolts.info. One of the most remarkable types of objects observed in space is the bipolar planetary nebula. Today, a team of scientists is reporting an astonishing discovery. The axes of bipolar nebulae within the Milky Way's central bulge are aligned perpendicular to the plane of the galaxy. The lead author of the study states, This really is a surprising find and, if it holds true, a very important one. The alignment we're seeing for these bipolar nebulae indicates something bizarre about star systems within the central bulge. What does this discovery tell us about the nature of planetary nebulae? We've all seen those beautiful images of planetary nebulae, the hourglass-shaped objects that have been seen and photographed uh, very successfully through the Hubble Space Telescope and other large new telescopes. The more detail it's seen, of course, the more puzzles have arisen. But the greatest puzzle of all has just arrived in the news that it's been discovered that these hourglass shapes in the central bulge of our galaxy all have, if you like, the stems of the hourglass all facing in the plane of the galaxy. And this is not to be expected if these shapes are caused by the star itself and any objects that happen to be orbiting that star. The surprise for astronomers is that there should be any connection at all between these isolated objects. The other great puzzle is that the expected axis of rotation of stars tends to be in the plane of the cloud of material from which it's formed. This is the standard model of how stars formed and how planetary systems are formed about that star. It's the rotation of the cloud of material that gives it its axis of rotation. But here we're looking at planetary nebulae close into the centre of the galaxy and which have their rotation axis perpendicular to the cloud, which is totally at odds with any idea of the formation of the stars from such a cloud. All of this goes to show the inability of astronomers to predict or explain new discoveries in space. The explanations themselves that we see in these reports are in a language that, from the electric universe point of view, is all wrong. Planetary nebulae are supposed to have been formed by dying stars and stars puffing outer layers off in that process. But according to the Electric Universe model, the so-called life and death of stars is a complete fiction. A planetary nebulae is simply a star in which we can see the electrical circuitry of that star. It's being lit by the galaxy. And therefore, you might expect also that the alignment of that electric current towards the centre of the galaxy would be along the arms of the spiral. And this would also explain this strange discovery that the planetary nebulae have their axes aligned perpendicular to the plane of the galaxy. This is to be expected in the Electric Universe model. It's totally unexpected in the old, centuries-old gravitational model of the formation of stars and their planets. Scientists now speculate that the magnetic field of the Milky Way's central bulge might somehow be causing the mysterious alignment. However, why this magnetic field exists remains a mystery in the standard model. This new finding about planetary nebulae near the center of the galaxy hints at another more mysterious factor. According to the report, along with these complex stellar characteristics are those of our Milky Way. The whole central bulge of the galaxy rotates around the galactic centre. This bulge may have a greater influence than previously thought over our entire galaxy via its magnetic fields. Well, this isn't an explanation in the standard model because there is no explanation of the magnetic fields. Whereas in the Electric Universe model, which follows plasma cosmology, the magnetic fields are the result of electric currents flowing through the galaxy towards the centre so that it all fits together and is easily explained by the Electric Universe model. Currently, it has no explanation based on the gravitational and mysterious magnetic model favoured by astronomers. This comes down to our education systems, and it could be said that the model of the galaxy and stars is a century or more old. And when those ideas were put forward, there was no understanding at all of plasma. Plasma physics was in its infancy when the model of the sun was put forward. There's a huge gap in understanding, and this is being perpetuated by the education system, which does not look at any alternative models 
despite the fact that plasma cosmology has been around for decades now and has been successfully able to accommodate all of these new discoveries. For continuous updates on space news from the Electric Universe, stay tuned to thunderbolts.info.